Hey there, young scientists. Today we're diving into the fascinating world of the water cycle. We've got five totally cool experiments lined up, and the best part is, you can try these at home or in the classroom. Get ready to make some waves and unlock the mysteries of H2O. Let's get started. At Let's kick things off with a mini water cycle in a bag. It's like having a tiny weather system right in your hands. Grab a resealable plastic bag and pour in about a quarter cup of water. Add a few drops of blue food coloring for visibility. Seal the bag tight and draw a sun, clouds, and a mountain with a stream on it. Tape your bag to a sunny window with the water facing the sun. Over the next few hours watch the water evaporate, condense, and precipitate. You'll see water droplets form at the top and fall back down, just like rain. There you have it. Evaporation, condensation, and precipitation in action. Ready for more weather wonders? This time, we're making it rain. Grab a large clear glass jar and fill it about two-thirds full with water. Spray a thick layer of shaving cream on top. This is our cloud. Fill a dropper with water and add a few drops of food coloring. Gently add the colored water onto the shaving cream. Watch as the cloud gets heavier and eventually releases the colored water into the jar, just like rain. This shows how clouds become saturated with moisture and then release it as precipitation. Pretty cool, right? Ever wonder why puddles disappear on a sunny day? It's all thanks to evaporation. Let's see it in action. Grab three identical pieces of paper towel and soak each with the same amount of water. For the first piece, leave it as is. For the second piece, use a fan to blow air on it. For the third piece, use a hairdryer on a low setting. Observe which paper towel dries the fastest. The hairdryer dries it the quickest, followed by the fan, and lastly the one left alone. This experiment shows that heat and air movement speed up evaporation. The hairdryer adds heat, giving water molecules energy to escape into the air as vapor. The fan moves the air, helping carry away the water vapor. The paper towel left alone dries slowly, relying on natural air movement. See how heat and air movement affect evaporation? Hold on to your lab coats because we're about to recreate how nature keeps our water clean. Grab a large clear plastic bottle and cut off the top third. Build your filter with a layer of gravel at the bottom, followed by sand and then cotton balls. This represents the different layers of soil and rock that water passes through in the ground. Make some dirty water by adding dirt, leaves or small pieces of paper to a container of water. Slowly pour the dirty water over the top layer of your filter. Watch as the water trickles down through the layers getting cleaner as it goes. The gravel, sand and cotton balls trap dirt and particles, leaving the water clearer at the bottom. This demonstrates how groundwater is naturally filtered as it seeps through the ground. The soil and rocks act as natural filters removing impurities, it's like a giant natural water purifier. Ever wake up to find your grass covered in tiny water droplets? That's condensation. Grab an empty soda can and fill it halfway with ice-cold water. Let the can sit for a few minutes, then dry the outside with a towel. Observe the tiny water droplets forming on the outside of the can. The cold surface cools the warm air around it, causing water vapor to condense into liquid droplets. This is the same process that forms dew on grass and plants overnight. And there you have it. Five amazing experiments to help you understand the water cycle. From creating rain in a jar to witnessing the power of evaporation, you've seen firsthand how water moves and transforms all around us. Remember, science is all about exploration and discovery, so keep experimenting and stay curious. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to School Subjects Online for more unique ideas. Keep exploring and stay curious.